build an absolver. I kind of wanted to see what you guys wanted to see for like deck building. Um, I'm gonna make sure my audio is working here really fast, and then we're gonna jump in it. We're gonna jump inside of it. Let's see. All right, we got audio. We're good. We're gravy. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to wrong button. I'm gonna build a deck with you guys. If you guys want to send a little chat, I got uh, I got the chat up so we can bounce ideas off of each other. Um, I'm gonna go to my second deck. I'm pretty comfortable with this deck right now. Um, I'm gonna set it up on the second deck, and we're just gonna build it. We're gonna start it from nothing. So let's get rid of all these. We'll get this sweep is perfect to start with just because a lot of people dive forward with the punch. And we'll do a high kick after that, try and catch people off guard. I want to switch it up, and these moves have like good switch up timings. So you can delay your attacks for somebody that's trying to parry or somebody that's going to get into the groove of dodging. You can switch it up on them. So I want to end in this quadrant so I can chain throughout my all, all my attacks. So um, each one of these shows you which one it's going to end in. And the first series starts and goes counterclockwise. So if it starts up in the top right quadrant, that first chain is going to end in the top left and then start right over here. So you can chain all of them, which is great. So I want to do something that's going to maybe break a guard. Let's try that. Because if we're going to catch them off guard, they're going to close the distance, we're going to sweep the leg. Hit them with a high, throw them off. They're going to want to guard after that, so hopefully this will break that. Yeah. Tell me what you guys want. I don't know what you guys would want. I've seen some things that are like all boxing builds, all kick builds, but I think we're going to try and do some heavy hitting switch ups that I can delay. I think that's probably the best way to go. Get in people's heads. So after a guard break, we'll want to close some distance. So maybe mill punch. Close some distance after that. Or maybe we want a big hit after that. Well I can put it in the heavies. We'll do that. punch close some distance need some speed after the mill punch maybe with a pushed elbow that's pretty fast this is super fast actually double fist stretch and that's confusing too because I think it's actually a top sweeping attack so we'll try that out I haven't used that yet Top sweep and then heavy low, maybe. Maybe we'll catch some people with that. Oh, actually, I can't do that. Can't do that because it ends in the wrong quadrant. So just recycle. So we gotta end in the bottom left. We want to chain. Do a slap kick. That might that might get some people. Another high attack. See how it, let's see how it plays. Mill punch. Okay. I don't like the hesitation there. 
Yeah, you see it right after the mill punch right there. There's a hesitation that makes me vulnerable. So, maybe not. We'll put that maybe after something else. Let's see how this chains. Yeah, that looks a little bit more fluid. Let's start off with a uh, parry here. catch them in that spin with an attack it'll get parried and I'll do some damage not a ton of damage but pretty, pretty good amount it's pretty fast let's try this let's try the double bump and then we'll do we gotta end in the bottom right top right jab is super fast back this is just super uh, super hard for cleaver blow do we want to try high damage after that or do we want another guard break oh stop charging attacks there we go which hand do we end with here the wrist jab. Nope. I want to do the wrong, that's the wrong quadrant. I want to end in the bottom left, or bottom right, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong moves. Bottom right. Rising kick is pretty good. Not nearly as fast as what we have though. Wrist jab is gonna be hard to beat. But we'll have that in the heavy attacks. Knife hand strike. Mm, mm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it would help if I had some people helping me out here. Front sweep. So we got a couple switch ups. Let's get let's get a little bit more. Roll uppercut. That's a pretty good one. It gets people sometimes. damage but it stays low. Another heavy damage. Mm, we can try that. We can try it. So heavy attacks. Let's see. Right after the up kick. Right after the double palm. Up kick and double palm. So let's do furious uppercut. Yeah, it doesn't light up, which is good. Pretty big damage. Let's do the tornado kick here. And then we'll do at the end of the guard break. Good damage. End of the guard break and after the rolling uppercut. Okay. So we don't need a guard break there. We need heavy damage. Yeah, let's try that. Here we'll want bottom left quadrant. We'll want after the 
this good in elbow. And after the parry. Ooh, let's get a guard break here. Let's get that elbow. Damage. 183. Yeah, essence strength. Super slow. Let's see if we got anything better than that. This is much faster. 30 damage less though. Here, this is only one damage less. Even slower though. Alright, let's get a fast guard break. Hopefully the elbow we can put here. spiritual elbow is. Do I not have it? Maybe I got it with my other character. Uh, yeah. There we go. Jump out elbow. And we'll have some speed there. Alright, so let's try... Got that out of the way. Let's try. Uh, let's try some PVE. I was really hoping we could uh, play some PVP, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. by an NPC. distance? Where did I put that? There it is. Nice. Oh, no item. Tear trap of pants. Alright, so let's go kill some bosses. damage. Let's see if we can purposely hit with that parry. bear belt. Okay, so let's get, let's get out of here. Let's 
game feels real good. It really does. Everything's pretty. I just kind of wish the servers were a little more stable. And if that's the only gripe, that's not bad. Making my way downtown. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. So we're gonna go fight the uh, end boss because I got my combat trials up high enough. I think I'm going to give it a whirl. I think I'm going to try it out. Uh, and while we're doing that, we'll probably farm some good moves off of the endgame area. That will be good. Oh, hey, friend. Oh! Oh, yeah. Big kick. Oh! We'll get some more farming done when we get over to the main main level or end level. A lot of strong guys over there. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you got any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know. so much damage. Let's duck his first move. Like oh, he jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Alright, so in this area there's a lot of trickier NPCs. Hopefully they have some good moves. We're gonna farm them. We're gonna farm them. What do you know? Yeah. So we just built a new deck. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's got a lot of mix up and delays. This guy might have some stuff for me. What do you know? Oh, wrong way. sword moves that I don't Drop the sword. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. We'll have to learn from somebody else. Let's 
seems to be the same guy. What do you know? Teach me. ways. There it is. It's that last kick. Oh, I need more stamina. I gotta watch that. a new kick and I would like that please. Teach it to me. Do the big kick. Do I have to waste through the whole combo? I don't know if I have enough stamina. Do So I gotta, I gotta make him think I'm gonna parry it. Oh god. There we go. Let's get some of his health down and some of my health up. I wish they had the Dark Souls like drop down attack for mega damage. There we go. No. Hey now, come back here. so we can fight that boss. I want to learn that 360 kick that he's doing because it's ultra dope, but he saves it to the last move of his combo and it was only sometimes. That was Yeah, what do you guys what do you guys uh think about the deck? You guys can kind of see my moves. What would you like to see? Maybe more heavy attacks? I could do an all heavy build would be kind of interesting. I feel like I would never hit anyone though. It would be the waiting game. Oh, don't kill me with my own gun. I know it's a story, but it's also a movie quote. Oh shit. This guy's not fucking around. Let's get you out of here. I'm not ready to die yet. Uh, let's get some. Oh shit. 
shit. No! No! <laughs> I guess I was ready to die. So we're gonna make it, make our way through and then uh, fight the last boss again because I've been getting sweet drops for the second time around and they actually have different video intros for the fight the second time around. So let's just scoot past these guys. I want to I wanna get straight to it. I might be forced to fight this guy. Get out of here. Okay, that's fine. Nope. What are you doing, cat? I doubt you guys can see, but my cat is just trying to give me a little massage while I play. Pretty dope. See ya! So these guys actually have pretty good moves to farm, but they're actually, they do really good feigns and stuff like that. So if you're using parry, they're going to jack you up, man. Nice practice for the final boss. I'm really hoping they add some more stuff to this game. Some more bosses, more boss fights, more boss battles. That'd be sick. I'm excited to see where they go with the storyline, for sure. Here I come, making my way up. Oh, making my way back down. That's right, gotta go this way. Mm. Yeah, been getting, like I said before, been getting pretty sweet loot the new boss encounters so I'm excited to see what loot I get if I finish this boss fight I see people getting some cool swag and I want to be a part of that here we go let's take a seat make sure we're all healed up and when we die we'll come back here I want a piece of this guy lady I want a, I want a piece of this lady oh four shy I thought I was there. That totally sucks. Let's see if we can uh, connect. Four more levels, that's a rip. Yeah, the servers have been down. Yeah, see? Down. We'll try again. But servers have been down. It's been bumming me out. Um, which is a really awful time, too. Because, I mean, if you want players to play your game, you got to have your servers up, especially when a game like Destiny comes out. Uh, I guess we'll just continue, and we'll farm some of these moves off of these guys then. build our deck a little bit I'm feeling pretty good about it I gotta get uh I gotta get used to where all of them start I know I got the mill punch oh yeah this won't do it yeah that totally blows totally blows Check it out. We got one guy um, down here. I think you can kind of tell who has what moves when you see their um, their clothes. If they have the same clothes, I think they have the same moves. But I've been wrong before, so who knows, man? Or woman, whoever's watching. 
Uh, as you can probably see from my channel, my name is Blessy LaGroove. Welcome. Thanks for being a part of my universe. I, uh, I have a lot of fun playing these games. I just started streaming, so uh, drop a comment and tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what you'd like to see, what you don't like seeing. And if it's my face, I can't change that. I've said that before. Can't do much about that. Let's learn. Oh, I'm learning the hard way. No. Oh, uh, how, f how fluid is the combat? Uh, it's pretty good. You get to make your own deck too. So I'll show you kind of my little combo stream on some flat ground. Let's do this. Oh, my dog is barking. That's not good. Go on. We're getting some crazy thunder. Uh, we're in Oregon right now, so everything's on fire. Hang on a second. It's alright, bud. You're okay. Uh, everything's on fire, and we're expecting rain finally. And it's probably going to be thunder. But, to answer your question, let's go to the fluidity of the combat. Everything that you're seeing right now, I chose myself. This isn't a starter deck. So, if you do um, timed moves, you'll see on my bar, it's like the quick, uh, quick reload from Gears of War, almost. If you do it, if you time it perfectly... Let's get rid of this guy. Ooh! If you time it perfectly, you get, uh, you use less stamina, and you attack faster. So we'll start in the mill punch. Mill punch to, I think I've got pushed back elbow. Oh! If I can get to it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so you can see I like glow, which is dope, but it signifies that you're actually uh, using less, you're using less stamina, and you're launching off your next attack faster than if you don't get the timing right. Oh, I'm getting kind of wrecked by this guy. Mill punch back this. Nope. So if they move around you too, your uh, your stance changes. So it's kind of a uh, smart tactic by the enemy. Oh shit! Because they'll put you into a stance you're not ready for. Oh! I sat on his head. Oh, I just noticed it's Will. What up, Will? Thanks for the love, man. Ugh. It is a beautiful game, too. Um, I'm a big fan of the nearly cel-shaded, minimalist uh, kind of look. You look really dope, and you get some pretty uh, sweet um, armors and stuff that you get to unlock. It's pretty rewarding. So let's show you the fluidity. So here are all my moves, and you get to you get to pick all of these and link them all together. So this move starts in the top right quadrant of these four. Uh, the end of this combo strings into my next uh, from here on my top left. So it goes counterclockwise from the start. So you get to make it more fluid or you can have a heavier attack string where you can go hit real slow, hit real hard. You get alternate attacks you saw on the right and that's all your triangle moves. So your big damage normally goes over there or guard breaks are good. But it flows really well when you get all the timing right super well obviously it always looks good when you're fighting this guy your little practice dummy what are you doing dogs 
They're all scared from the thunder. That was pretty gnarly, actually. I don't know if my mic picked any of it up, but it was, it was pretty intense. Uh, let's go back to farming. I got, see, I got a B rating in uh, speed, you can see on the bottom left. So all my, I've got more speed moves. So it tells you how strong of a deck you have based off of those moves in that little area right there which is cool. Um, I like going with speed and uh, dex, but I've got, as you can see, strength is at 24, dex 35, endurance 11, and your mobility actually changes based off of what you wear. So if you go to your equipment, I got some new pants, neat. But if I go put these guys on, it actually makes me faster and my attack damage goes up. My resistance actually goes up, so should I, I should probably be wearing those anyways. Um, so I don't wear a lot of armor. I try and look good still, too. Um, I don't wear a lot of armor so I can be fast. I try and keep my blunt damage around 30. If I can get my cut up more, then that's good. But a lot of people aren't busting out swords right now. I don't think people have really unique sword decks at this point. Um, so I try not to wear a ton of armor because I want my attacks to go faster and uh, hit harder based on based on my speed. I don't know how much it actually affects because I've seen people in heavy armor do really fast attack strings, but I don't know. I have noticed that they when they switch guard, it takes a while for them to actually. Uh, get to the guard zone they want to be or the attack string they want to be in. Teach me your moves. I don't want to get hit with that. He's got lots of those. No! I need to get some level ground, man. Will! I saw you had a baby stream going on. I wanted to see I wanted to see more of it. Are you just recording videos or are you starting your stream now? Oh, he's got some sword moves. that Let's show off what I got for sword moves I mixed it up with kicks too with my swords all right learning a little I'm learning <laughs> gotta shake out the weird sometimes Sometimes I get all caught up, and if I'm impressing my stream uh, watchers, get in my head. I'm not a fan of this whole deck that I've got. Right here. He wants that. See what this guy knows. Oh. Don't have the proper stuff. Yeah, I get that. I uh, I actually made this green screen. I wish that I could show my comments on the screen and. Uh, and still have a different size camera. I'd have to get a capture. 
But I'm doing this straight from my uh, my PS4, man. Anybody can do this, which is fun. Uh, I made a green screen for like nine bucks. Uh, oh shit! <gasps> At least I learned some things. Um, yeah, got a green screen uh, with a piece of wood and some felt. Green felt. It uh, works super good. It looks way cooler when I don't have the comments, but I like having the comments for people to see. Because uh, I'm like over the screen in the bottom and just kind of floating there. Uh, it's almost pointless to have the green screen on, the, on this black. But it's better than seeing the my house, I guess. Oh, I don't know if I've seen this guy. That seems to be a cool move. What is that? It looks like it's coming from the left. So we'll give it a shot. No, I know that one. Oh, god damn. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do some Destiny streams here. Uh... In a little while, actually, I did a couple of them. I actually did one where I gave an honest review of Destiny, and it was maybe a little biased, because uh, I am pretty... I was pretty upset about the content seeming like it could have just been an extension of Destiny 1. It could have been DLC, and it doesn't really feel a whole lot different. Uh, and then I played the story, and I started playing the story, and I actually deleted my video because it was... The story is a lot better. It's a lot better than uh, the previous Destiny. Yeah, I want to get something that has... Uh... This guy's teaching me stuff. I want to get something that I can do capture over so I can have like my subs and likes and stuff like that on screen. I don't really care about like tipping, that's not a big deal to me, but I do want to have some like, uh, some watchers like comments, like I think it's important to have that on here. He's got some cool moves. I also have cool moves. Mm. No! <laughs> Shit! I like the Dark Souls kind of feature where you like uh all the progress you make on learning a move per character is like lost unless you beat them you have to beat them to learn it <laughs> that'll work let's go all right let's uh, <laughs> we're fighting two of them Three of them. Fuck. I'm getting those berries down. As I say when I miss the first one. I like that you can go for another enemy when you're locked onto a, uh, one of them as well. Ooh. Fuck. I said it in one of my other videos, but um, I'm gonna say it again. Being able to uh, earn your health back on 
successful hit is super dope. Obviously, I didn't do it, but um, it's super rewarding, and it's not like it's a skill based. Like you gotta earn it. You know what I mean? You gotta earn, you gotta get good. Let's get down here. I saw a couple people hop in and hop out. Uh, I would be showing you guys some one-on-ones right now, but the servers are down. It's a bummer. Ooh, that's a new thing. Now I gotta kill this guy. Stop falling off the edge. If I'm that close, we'll probably get it again. We'll keep these parries up. Oh shit. Or not. Every now and again, you'll run into these guys that are just using exclusively heavy hits. So it throws me off. I built the deck to kind of deal with that though. I just need to start in the right quadrant. So I can get that first duck. The leg sweep. There we go. Oh. Sweep. I would say like 80% of the enemies start with high attacks. So if you stay well, you're pretty much golden. Unless you fucking fall off the edge a bunch. I'm gonna run down to the bottom so I can stay on level ground instead of getting kicked off. Let's cruise down to the bottom and learn some moves on some level playing field. Yeah, the story the story is amazing. I totally spaced your comment. I'm totally biased. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, it feels like Destiny 1 again. I, I guess I should be doing this on a Destiny stream. Ask me about this game. <laughs> let's do that. Let's stick to let's stick to what we're doing here. Alright, I'm going to walk on this so I can spawn down here, and we'll fight these guys on some level ground. Teach me something I don't know. Okay. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can time a parry. That move is really tight. Oh, and if you go down to the bottom left or right quadrant, you can walk away from these guys faster than having it here. Which is a neat feature. Having it actually matter is important. This guy's got... This is the same guy I fought earlier. He's got a kick that I need, but... It's uh, at the end of his combo, so I have to watch my stamina pretty hard. <coughs> He's got a now, so... I want to fill up on my health. <coughs> Let's take that from you. Okay, or you're gonna feign all of your attacks. Oh, I thought that was the kick. Here we go. No, it's the same one! There it is, that's the kick. Oh, I wasn't ready. Yeah, see, all my stamina is already gone, so I gotta carry it, but if. Oh, and I need that kick too, that's a dope kick.
Yeah, the one on ones are real sick, especially when you start getting these like you guys are moves line up. He does a high or something like that, and I do a low, and the dodges happen. So you guys have been watching me play Forsaken, I think it's called right now, with the parries. He's using Windfall, so I'm gonna switch it up here in a second. Because I've missed them both. So let's try that. I'll show you guys both and you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's under uh, meditation. So I've been using parry. Block completely the attack and stun your opponent. It's super awesome. Uh, this drops my health and my stamina down a little bit ups my shard refill and gives me a little bit more damage so that is what I started with originally but there's four directions to dodge which is a little more challenging I can get the timing down most of the time but all directions is, is a little more challenging they say it's easier than forsaken but I'm not feeling that I'll show you Oh! Big damage. What he's using is called the cult methods, where you absorb and you actually have an opportunity to gain your health back. Both, if you successful, are all of the um, moves, all the special abilities. You get uh, a little bit of your stamina when you do a successful dodge, parry, or absorb, which is pretty sweet. Chin palm. Let's check that out, actually. Let's see if that fits anywhere in here. Chin palm. Where are you? Here we go. 93 damage. That's not bad. S scaling in dex, and I've got my high decks so maybe we can fit that in here somewhere it looked like it had pretty good speed hopefully it'll fit right here actually chin palm look at that it totally does s scaling and same speed a little more power a little more range and it looks tight <sighs> yeah let's try it see how it fits Chin palm. Let's see if we can get it a little faster. Chin palm. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, that flows real nice. And I got some new things. Oh, I think I just got shoes. Yeah, shoes I already got. Neat. There we go. I don't wear shoes anyways. Slows me down. Makes me less aerodynamic when I fight. And gotcha. And each one of these guys have a different uh, charging move. Oh! A different charging move when you're running or you're sprinting. Big damage. Not as big as I was hoping. Big damage. Oh! On myself. Nice. Oh, that's got great traffic. Let's get some power back. So you can't, while you're sprinting, you can't be locked on, but you'll do a nice slide if you're using Windfall, or a nice charging knee if you're using Forsaken. I don't remember what you get for uh, Cult, but there is actually a fourth fighting style, Drunken Fist, which I think I can do right now. It changes changes up your uh, obviously fighting style but it changes up your uh, animations too so it's kind of fun I don't know if it's got a different ability actually or if you keep your old one let's find out let's do a school so if we go to oh 
shit. I have to be online. Oh, no, I don't. I just have to find the, uh, the guy. Reiko, I think his name is. So let's go find Reiko. If you guys are already playing and you haven't found him yet, you have to keep your eye out for an NPC called Jen Mesa. I think his name is. Uh, he pops up randomly. For me, he was on the bridge over here. Um, but after you take him out, you can go back to the Coliseum and uh, open a special door that takes you down. I'll just show you. I'll show you where it's at. Yeah, Jen, Jen something. Maybe we'll see him on our way. Nope. Oh, that hurt me. Jen something. We're going to find out. Maybe he'll be up here. Just stopping to heal up. Yeah, for me, he was right up here the first time. Oh, there he is, Jen, Jin Mesca. And he's got some sweet moves. He's got Drunken Fist. Ultra dope. That's what we're gonna learn. Yeah, he's got moves that I don't have. So maybe we'll draw this fight out a little bit. See if we can learn some things. Oh! Check it out, I poke. Yoink! Ha! Huh. That's all I learned though. I got some, uh... I started learning some more stuff, so that's dope. Alright, we're on our way to learn Jen Mesca's fighting style. <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna do an up attack. Let's see if we can do See if we can do that parry again. No. Let's try it. You gonna do the haymaker? See how it switches me into the other push? 
There we go. There's a berry. <gasps> yep. Most AI and actually most people start. Uh, most players start with a like reach attack, which most of the time is a high attack. Uh, so if you start off with that sweep. So now we got to go back to the Coliseum. I saw this guy was trolling people super hard. He waited on this bridge. Somebody would walk up and he would shockwave him off the edge. Hilarious. Not making any friends. Yeah, I wish that I could hop online and show you guys the uh, boss fights. Maybe I can go to a boss fight where I have enough already. What's it called? Yeah, if you uh, if you PvP after a first fight, first boss fight, you can go back if you get high enough uh, wins. I guess it doesn't have to be wins. It's just a. Uh, you have to get a high enough level in PvP to... Oh shit. Big damage. Yeah, you have to get, uh, you have to level up in PvP to unlock the second fight. That uh, button, button mashing is kind of uh, not kind of. It totally is. If you button mash, you get punished. So I know he's just an NPC, but on my attack here. He was capitalizing, there was a weakness. There's in between the this kick and this kick, there's a delay. It makes me vulnerable. And he was capitalizing on it. So I guarantee you other players are gonna capitalize on that. So I'll have to switch that up a little later. Uh, but we're gonna go to the Coliseum. After a quick snooze, a little med tea, a little meditation, get my health back up. Mm. Alright, back to the Coliseum to learn new things. I didn't actually, I actually already got this, but I didn't test to see if I had a different, uh, Different special ability like uh, windfall, taken, and call. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but the uh, windfall versus. Uh, Forsaken, the dodge versus the parry, I'm feeling a little bit torn between the two, actually, because they're both super dope. Oh! Elbow. Okay. Elbow, high kick. Oh, doesn't matter now. Spiritual elbow. Got a neat shirt. Cool. Let's uh, can I hop down here? Nope. Oh, I can. So once you get back to the Coliseum, let's see if I can fight this guy. Actually, 
Nope, level 40. I gotta get back in there. They gotta get the servers back up so I can... So I can get some work in. Falcon Punch, got me with it. Let's get you down low on health. Uh, shit. Alright, let's do. Let's do this. Sword battles. Drop some of your armor for me. Tear gatherer pants. Okay, I have those. So could have been anything but that. Thanks. All right, so this is the door that's normally locked because of Jin Meska. So we're gonna cruise through here. Check out the beautiful view they have. Oh yeah, get out of here, post. The game is gorgeous. I will give them that. Combat is kind of what you make it. I wish that there was more like directional blocking other than the parry right or parry left, you know? Then all of the For Honor people would quit. Unless the For Honor people are still super in love with grabbing and throwing people as their main style of attack. This guy. You missed me, right? I know, life is more fun. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, give me some mead. Yeah, stagger style. Drunken fist. Let's try it again. Cool. Can't do it. Tight. So let's run up to the motherfucker, dude. So let's run up here and see if we can. Look at this thing. Let's run up here and see if we can uh, load in. Yeah, I want to quit. Loading, loading, loading. Fingers crossed. Eh. You can do it. Failed. One more. Let's give it another go. the deal is they're gonna lose their cust their, their uh, player base man they're gonna lose it destiny's out right now they can't can't be doing this which is a shame too because this is more my style of a game everything about this is awesome the the art the fluidity the either simplification or complexity you get to choose with your fighting you just you get to decide whether you want it to be really intricate or uh really straightforward i've seen some people do some really cool stuff like straight boxing builds 
Black Belt. Oh, that's interesting. That's super interesting. I don't know how I got Black Belt if I'm not uh, in my school right now. Maybe I just tricked my PlayStation. Anyway, so this is actually the mentor that I have right now, Jay Volley, is another player. So I just jumped in because I wanted to learn the Forsaken fighting style. So I went to my encounters. I found somebody that uses Forsaken fighting style. And I, uh, I joined a school. And apparently now I'm a disciple of it somehow. Shirts. Uh, pants. What's the name? Oh yeah, I got these. That are gonna slow me down. They look dope if they would load all the way. Maybe they did. Anyways, yeah, kind of bummed that we can't do uh, can't do more things. This is supposedly the first boss. I already did this. That's where I got this dope top from. Uh, with my flowy flaps. Gross. Uh, yeah, you gotta get your social PvP up. You gotta rank up. I'm trying to remember where the other boss was. Oh, I just did the other boss too. So yeah, I can't do anything until I go. I can't redo the bosses until I get uh, my PvP ability back. You gotta get the servers back up for me to progress in the game. Huge damage. There we go. There we go. Which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping that I could uh, show you guys some boss battles. There are some mini bosses actually, which we'll go fight right now. There's the first mini boss. Well, it's actually like what the fourth. Fourth. He does have a really cool mask, and he's got some fighting. I do not have there. Yeah, that double sword move. Oh, use my parry ability. of the warm-up time. He might kill me here. I'm gonna try and get it. It's 
looks like I can block through most of the attacks though. It's kind of, it might be the best for learning windfalls because if you parry, you end their attack chain. So you have to wait for them to do it again. But with windfall, you can dodge and they'll continue with their attack chain. dodge potentially all of those moves and still get him to do his the move that you want to learn. Oh that goes right through my guard too. Yeah, let's go back and try and get that move. I'm just gonna have to get my dodging up a lot. So Meta knowledge running straight for him. All right, man. I'm gonna have to. Pick up. You're getting those heater attacks. Ah. There we go. Halfway there. Oh, too early. I'm a big fan of these skill-based games right now. Okay, I guess I don't need that sword. I like a challenge. I like it to be challenging. Most people get frustrated, but I just for some reason love it. I don't know. We are farming moves in this video. Yes. We are. Um, come on, give it to me. Thirds of the way there. Stay with me. Ah, three quarters. Oh, oh, a little early. I wouldn't even know which direction to uh, parry if I got hit with that attack. If I was using Forsaken. Do this. Come at me. No, not that time. Yep, there we go. Almost there. Just learn what they're gonna do. Be patient. Oh. Early. See? Be patient. Be humble! Come on now. There we go. Maybe one or two more. Ooh, that was close. Come on now. Come on now. Oh yeah. Oh. Lots of switch ups and delays so I can go and use less stamina for those moves. Like that. Or I can give them delays and mix ups. <coughs> Just to kind of confuse them. It works a lot better in PvP. Oh, uh, gotta watch my stamina. See, 
see if we'll get him first. Ooh, he's ready. I think I'm gonna have to switch up some of my uh, heavy hitters. Spiral Palm. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Spiral Palm. That might be better to replace one of these. I'm not a fan of this kick. Got the eye poke. Yoink. That's pretty dope. Not a lot of power. Got some speed and it stops charging attacks, which is cool. Here we go. 152. It's actually stronger. Breaks impact. Strong impact on guard. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Where does that drop in. So if I go here, there we go. So after the slap kick, whop, I can throw that in. Actually anywhere on here I can throw that in, which is cool. So if I go here, and I go one, two, three, boom. I'd like to see how much that does on uh, my enemies, but I like filling up those shards faster, but I feel like it might be a little more challenging with uh, Windfall. What do you guys think? Okay. Remember how I said be patient? Dodge. Big damage. Boom! That does huge damage. Let's see if I can get it on the guard. Boom! Man, they're just taking it. Let's find out. Tear gatherer pants again. Neat. Neato. see that damage. Obviously he's not wearing very many clothing items. Not super well protected. Let's see about this. Yeah, he got wrecked. Um, cool. Well, let's try it uh, one more time. We'll go see if we can... We'll see if we can connect. If we can. Uh, I'll do some PvP, level up, show you guys some uh, boss fights in another video. Hi puppy. Hi puppy. Doesn't look like it. Well. That was fun, guys. I hope you had fun. If you did, drop a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of these. Uh, I hope to give you more in the future. Uh, actually, Destiny 2 I'll probably do here later on tonight. Uh, I'm Pacific Standard Time. Maybe a couple hours, so stay tuned. <laughs>